everybody and welcome to Board Game Galaxy. My name is Tanya and today I will give you a quick overview of the game called Micropolis, which is a game for two to six players designed by Bruno Catala and Charles Chevalier and published by Pegasus Spiele. So this is basically a tile laying game and you are building your own little anthill. And as you can see, uh, here is uh, also a designed one, uh, so you can have a general idea on how it will look at the end of the game. Um, the turns are really simple and uh, the game plays quickly. Uh, basically on your turn you select a tile from this row over here. If you select the first tile to add it to your end hill, uh, it will be free. But if you would select second, third and so on, you will have to pay uh, a soldier for each tile that you skip. If you don't have any soldier, then you can't, uh, can't do that. You have to select the first one. So you select the tile, put it on your end hill. The first tile um, goes anywhere and the, uh, the next tiles that you will choose will have to go on either left or the right si side of the previously placed tile. And then based on the different ends that you chosen from that tile, you also have different uh, bonuses or end game scoring conditions. So let's go over them quickly. Uh, the one tile is the uh, recruiting sergeant. It is this little guy. Uh, basically when you select this tile, uh, the first player will hold this token and this means that that player will have to lose one soldier and you will gain one soldier into your end hill. Uh, then we have the architect, uh, this one. If you get the architect, you also get this architect token that you can use on your subsequent turns. Uh, and it means that if you use it, you get to skip the uh, tile selection uh, and not pay anything so you will skip it for free then the next one is the queen uh, the queen is like this and i will show you in this example here that we have already set up the queen each queen will give you points if she is the only one in the gallery so this tunnel right here is called the gallery and she will give you as many points as the gallery is long. Basically one, two, three, four, five in this example. But if you would have two queens in one gallery, you would get zero points for them. Okay. Then the next one, we have a nurse and she will be holding this little X. And basically you get as many soldiers that the um as many soldiers as the x she uh, she is holding and i think this one uh is the sentry the sentry i will explain a little bit in a moment just so i can first explain the barracks this one is called the barracks and it means that if when you are putting the tile down, you have a choice to fill this barracks or not. Basically, um, you have to fill it completely, this, like in this case, three spots with the soldiers from your end hill. And each barracks in the end will give you as many points as it is written down here below. And uh, returning to the sentry, means that you get to a re rearrange in the middle of the game your uh, soldiers from the anthill and from the barracks. 
So, for example, if you would want to clear your barracks, so you would have more soldiers over here, you could do that with the sentry tile. And the last one are the different fruits you see here, like this one, or this gift here. And these fruits are basically a set collection for the end of the game. Um, like in this example here, each gallery you would check which fruits are in it and all the different fruits will be counted for the points and the gift would be a joker, a wild card for the fruits collection. Also another rule, when the row would be depleted depending on the number of players it will refill. So for the two players when it would be only one card left, one tile left, it would move on the, at the beginning of the line and the uh, row would refill and we would also check the first player and that would be the person who has uh, the most soldiers in his end hill at that point. So he would be the first player for the next round. Uh, and yeah, the game ends when the end hill is completed and like I said, we would have scoring for these categories. First, you would count all the ends in your end hill and get as many points. Then you would check your biggest gallery, meaning which one has the most ends in it. And the player that would have the higher number of ends would get five points and the, the, all the rest players would get zero. Then we have the fruit collection. Like I said, you check each gallery, uh, how many different fruits are in it and get associated number of points. Then for the queen, if she is the only one in the gallery, you would check how many tiles are in that gallery and get as many points. Uh, this one is for soldiers left in your end hill, so the players who has the most soldiers left would get 5 points. And the last one is for your filled, filled up barracks, so you would get as many points as written on the tile. And that's it. Uh, the game plays quite quickly and is pretty fun. So uh, if you want to check how it plays, I will have, we will have also the link in the description box below. And um, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and have fun and bye.